Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be detailing the GTI's engine bay because when the car broke down a few months ago, coolant went everywhere. So we're gonna clean that up in this video. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, let me show you guys the engine bay. As you can see, there is coolant everywhere. The induction kit's not fitted the best. Coolant, coolant. Just a lot of dirt in general. And yeah, that's the engine bay. As you can see, holds itself up, unlike the market golf. Anyway, that's the engine bay. So I'll show you what we're using today. So I've got the steam cleaner and I've got some Surfex HD. Shout out to North Coast Workshop. He used the same product in his video. So between these two products, uh, between the Surfex HD and the steam cleaner and some microfibers and the detailing brush I've got here, we should be able to give the engine bay a good clean. So to start off, I'm just gonna remove the induction kit. Okay, so with the induction kit off, you can see a bit better some of the spilled coolant and that's what the engine bay is looking like right now. I'm just gonna start again with Surfex HD. We'll give it a good spray all round and I've just put a microfiber in there so nothing really falls in. So this is a water-based degreaser. So let's get going with this. Okay, now I've got a good amount of Surfex HD on. I'm gonna go around with the detailing brush. So that's the degreaser on and I've used the detailing brush. Let's get started with the steam cleaner and try and get some of the hard to reach areas. So just to show you how it works. And I've got a brand new microfiber to give it all a wipe down just now. So I'll do that and then I'll probably go again through the steps. So use the Surfex and then back to the steam cleaner and do that a couple of times until we can get this engine bay looking nice and clean. The induction kit has coolant all over it. As you can see, it's got dirt all over it. So I'll give this a good clean just now. And that's the induction kit cleaned up now. Okay, so I've completed the engine bay detail. It looks 10 times better than before. It's not perfect, but it is an improvement and that layer of coolant has gone. Would I recommend the Surfex HD? Um, I need to use it a bit more to give my recommendation, but there is a lot of high praise for this product online, so it probably is a good product. Okay, so I've started the car up and let me give it a few revs. I don't do this often enough, so I'll do it for you guys today. Make the video a bit more exciting. That's just a few light revs for you guys. And since the engine bay is nice and detailed, let me give you a few revs from the front so you can hear the induction kit. You only knew the power of the dark side. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I really enjoyed editing it and putting it together. So if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button, 
down below it really does help grow the channel and if you're new smash subscribe for car content on the gti and other cars all sorts everything car related and i'll see you in the next video peace